Gopikrishna, GKTV. So today we see that you know, like Ramagaru achieved such a big achievement, uh, like, you know, like to serve the community. So I know her from last 10 years, and she served the community in yoga and different different ways. So and we have like you know, our uh, mayor also here. So like uh, we are very happy to see you, sir. And ca can you brief little bit about you know like uh, this event, uh, Ramagaru, and then? Yeah, I am so happy to see everybody. Um, we are, uh, today is really blessed day. Um, Yora is good for everybody, soul and body, tenets. Thank you very much. So, so like, uh, so, uh, Mayor Sir, can you brief a little bit about you know like the, this cultural event and you know like how you are connected and you know, like do, what do, what do you think about this? Well, first of all, what I think about it is it's important enough to be on GKTV. It's important enough to me. Now, as the mayor of Parsippany, I represent everyone in Parsippany, no matter their political siding or their cultural uh, 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 background or their religious beliefs. Now, something like a yoga studio here on Beverwick Road, that's something special, that's something that's needed because it's providing our community with something for physical, mental, and spiritual wellness. And that's something I personally believe in. And I also like the fact that the community leader is a woman of strength intelligence and grace, okay, that is leading this community, not just the Indian community, but the whole community, in showing us a path to this type of wellness. So with this, I am honored to be here with you, and congratulations on such an achievement. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Two, three. Hi. Good afternoon. First of all, I want to thank you for introducing me as our mayor instead of the mayor. Uh, it sounds like an object when you're called the mayor. Our mayor means I'm representing everyone, and that's what I really want to do here in our city. And I want to thank all of you for being here. This is um, a place of spiritual wellness and physical wellness as well. This is certainly something we need more of here in Parsippany because it's not just about the body, it's about the mind and the spirit also. So what you're going to bring here to Beverly Road is certainly something I appreciate. Uh, I, I, I feel it doesn't matter what the temperature is outside. There's a lot of warmth here inside this room, and I feel it. And I thank you for welcoming me into your hearts. Uh, and also uh, my, my, my colleagues here, uh, Councilwoman Loretta Bragnani, and Councilman Michael DiPiero as well, all right? And, um, and, and I'm also uh, grateful to work together with the, uh, the Chamber President here, uh, uh, President Robert Belusa. So thank you very much. So thank you so much for inviting me here. I am honored to be here. And uh, you just let Parsippany know how we can help you because you are certainly doing the right step to helping Parsippany. Thank you. Namaste. Just want to say uh, thank you for having us, Parsippany Area Chamber of Commerce, um, also for the uh, Parsippany Area uh, Economic Development Committee for the Township of Parsippany and your former Vice President of your Council. Uh, we are honored here today to have an organization that's opening up here that's going to be spiritual wellness and, and mental and physical wellness as well. Uh, it's a great honor to have this on Lake Hiawatha and in Parsippany, Troy Hills. And on behalf of the Economic Development Committee, I'd like to offer an opportunity to thank uh, the owner for coming to our great town. Thank you very much. I'm going to turn the mic over to Frank Cahill, uh, the Executive Board Director for the Parsippany Area Chamber of Commerce. On behalf of the Parsippany Area Chamber of Commerce, its members, business organizations, we welcome you to Parsippany. Uh, grand opening, uh, great success, 
and uh, many, many thanks to our mayor, Councilor members. Councilor members and the President Chair, Chamber of uh, Commerce and uh, all of our uh, your family and friends and the uh, uh, dedicated yoga members. Thank you very much. Studio fitting and Chara Santoshanga, Chara happy happy That's a lot, but uh, thank you everyone for coming. My grandfather's really, really happy to have everyone, and that my, my mom uh, was able to fulfill a dream with all these pe uh, wonderful people. It wouldn't have happened with all you guys' support, coming to the classes time and time every day. Um, and coming for all these years and believing in this, like this is this wouldn't happen without a community, with without our uh, uh, legislators and and um, people in the chamber of commerce, without our community members, without 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 all these people. Thank you so much for coming. And, um, yeah. and my grandfather is, is overjoyed and happy. My mom and uh, and my dad. Uh, I'm not sure how many people know this, but uh, my mom got married at the age of 16 and she moved here with my dad to a foreign country where she didn't know the language, she didn't know the customs, she didn't know the culture. Uh, with the support of my dad, she taught herself English, she made a home, she took care of my grandparents, she took, brought my, uh, her, my uncles, her brothers, here to America and helped them establish themselves <coughs> and then raised three children. Through all of this, she never had the opportunity to pursue her own dreams. Um, a couple of years ago, she started taking yoga classes, and this was the sea of her. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to cry. Uh, a couple of years ago, she started taking yoga classes, and this was the seed of a new dream for her. Uh, she pursued her interests. She became a certified yoga instructor, and today she opened the studio. And I'm so proud of her. It's rare to find a South Asian woman who has the, of my mom's generation, who are willing to go against the grain and have the courage to go against the grain and pursue their dreams. And it's rare to find husbands who support them like my dad. I'm incredibly proud of both of them for starting this endeavor and I really wish them the very best of luck. I've been part of this family for five years. <laughs> you know, my mother-in-law is one of the strongest females I've, I've known and <laughs> And this has, you know, been a dream of hers since I've since I've met her. She's worked very hard at it. So has my father-in-law and the whole family. So uh, I'm fortunate to be a part of this, you know, grand opening. And uh, maybe she'll make me into a yoga master. One day. <laughs> my name is uh, Prakash. I'm uh, uh, Rama's brother, younger brother. And I'm uh, proud to say that uh, she's uh, always stood first in the family to help us and. Uh, uh, educators and all that, and uh, she pursued her dream. We are very happy for her. And as everyone knows, that yoga is a magic word today. Yoga, 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 and yoga is good for. Um, for anyone who knows my mom, she is very determined, and she works very hard at everything she does. I'm very, very proud of her. We all are, and uh, congratulations, mommy. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Angus brother of Rama. Uh, as my niece declared, uh, you know, she's very strong and uh, very determined, uh, very humble and also, you know, pursue her, all her career. You know, she did support all of us, you know, it's really true. Uh, right from the childhood, uh, she took care of us and she brought us here. And what we are here are, uh, is because of her and my brother-in-law. And uh, I'm very proud to say that they all support us. I am Rama's sister-in-law. Even though she is, I'm her sister-in-law, she's like a sister to me, okay. and she's like mother to my husband, because <laughs> she's the one who took care of him. Then uh, he was young, she is responsible for all his education to be a doctor. She's Aparna, we are one of the partners uh, with Ramagaru. So we know Ramagaru since uh, 12 years. Uh, we lived in Parsifani and now in Montville. Um, so, uh, just, uh, I mean, I like to say a couple of words how I started yoga. I've been practicing yoga for 10 years. Um, I used to have lower back pain. And since I started yoga, uh, 
it is in check. Since uh, I used to go to doctors and ask them, you know, how uh, you know I can get rid of the pain. Nobody gave a clear answer. I tried several things. Then uh, at the end, I I pra started practicing yoga, and uh, I don't have that problem anymore. So I can tell, like you know, you all should also give it a try if you have any ailments or anything. So about our uh, studio, um, for first three months it is uh, fifty dollars unlimited for whole month. So you have nothing to lose. You should give it a try. And after that, it is uh, seventy-five per month. Uh, so Wadi, the partner with Rama, they they did together the yoga the yoga classes and they certified together, certified together. And Wadi actually does meditation from last thirty years. Do yoga from last twenty-five years. We've been to an ashram together to learn yoga and uh, meditation. Uh, when I, when she married me, I'm a patient with asthma. So uh, she has to carry me to hospital a couple of times, uh, so she got scared. So that's the reason she learned yoga and meditation, and uh, now I, of course I don't have any of those things. The only thing I can tell you is, uh, Ramagar is a motivation, Wadi is a power to energy behind it, and uh, Aparna is, uh, is the, the, the locomotive for Bohaldix. So all these three will do, all these three will do, all these three will do wonders. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping the community will reap the benefits of this. And uh, I, I can assure you guys, once you come to yoga... On behalf of my mom and my grandfather before, but... So my name is Teja, I'm a student at Drexel University, I study engineering. And um, this is absolutely phenomenal. Like, so my mom started at the local community center at Mongol at the public library. She taught there a few times a week. And then in our own, own home in the basement. Um, she taught for free um, for most of these places or at, at low pay. And she's done this for years. Uh, as, as my sister said, um, raising three kids and basically the rest of my family, her younger brothers and uh, nephews, nieces, everyone, uh, she hasn't had much time for herself. And uh, after, like, we all... I've been doing yoga since kindergarten and I really love it. Wow. So that's how we started, like, uh, the yoga journey. It can never stop. It's like, until you are there, the yoga is there. It's just not yoga that we do, yoga, meditation, and we have done the love in yoga too. So the yoga, I would say, is a union of body, mind, and soul. And it's a blessing to have it so nearby with all the people here. Yeah. And we should all so like today we have like you know, some community people also here. So like you guys are for this like yoga students, right? How long you are associated with this uh, organization? And can you brief a little bit? It's about a year. So. So how, how do how do you feel about uh, this? Yoga? About the studio or the, the yoga? The studio and yoga. Ramaji is a very um, well certified yoga teacher. She come. She is very helping. She comes to the communities and she used to teach uh, in our own community or in her, in her basement. So we all thought like a, a studio would help uh, spreading the yoga to many other people in the community. So this way, when there is a studio like this on the main road, many other people like Lake Hayvata, Parsipani, Montville, per everybody else can take the advantage of yoga. That's the best thing about this studio and the location. Great, great. So like, how, how long you are a student and how you are benefiting? It's been more than a year. And uh, I really enjoy doing yoga. And uh, once a week we run in our basement. Um, but I see the difference you know, in my mind and body. I'm more flexible now. As I grow older, you could see all kind of pain in our ache in our body. So that gets better. And uh, Ramaji is uh, one of the dedicated and uh, sincere and um, humble and kind person that I've seen. And we would like to continue with her and uh, support the studio as well. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Uh, my name is Laya, and I would just like to wish Ramanti a uh, hearty congratulations for opening up this great yoga studio. And knowing her for the last couple of years, I know she's a great teacher. She's a great person as a whole. And if you are planning on learning yoga, this is probably the ble best place to do so. And yeah, I wish her very good luck with this yoga studio. My name is Meghna Nilisedi, and I'm really happy for um, Ramanti, and congratulations. Right. So, how are you connected to yoga? Can you brief a little bit about you know, like uh, your part here? Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, Ramaji and Vaniaka for this um, amazing uh, venture, this wonderful initiative. You guys very close to my heart because uh, uh, my family overall, especially my husband's family, ever since I got married, I have uh, my in-law, both my in-laws. Uh, Five o'clock in the morning, they start doing yoga, and they have been constantly asking us to, uh, you know, be, be part of this. Because of time constraints, we have not been able to, you know, give as much time to yoga as we want to. But uh, yoga is an inherent part of my family and my life, just because. Of, you also started yoga. Yeah, my husband does a lot of yoga. I do very basic pranayam, but uh, I wish I had a little more time uh, to do more of the asanas and everything else. But uh, I just feel like. Uh, a lot of people need to be made more aware about yoga and the benefits of yoga. Uh, our culture, our uh, civilization, has um, has proved that there are there's amazing uh, there are amazing benefits of yoga. So this is a great initiative. I I, I would love to uh, be part of this too. So maybe now that Vanya Kai started it, I'll probably start doing more of it. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank Guru. So, can you brief a little bit about how you are associated with the yoga on uh, this event? Sure, definitely. Uh, yoga, Chinnapurninchi, India, lo, ma family lo practice jaste varu. Taravata, ekad kochin taravata, Ramagar dwara. I also got into yoga, and uh, I I feel very grateful. This is a great opportunity for the community, and uh, I definitely try to practice and. Uh, get in touch with Ramadan. Thank you. Okay. Yoga is um, is uniting the body, body, mind and the soul together. Yoga means unite. So you're not uniting the public, you're uniting yourself and you're getting, um, you're getting a good uh, health benefits. And it's good to practice at least a few minutes a day. And at least if you can't do it every day, at least do it like um, twice a week. Just take at least 10 minutes. So it heals you in many of your pains and ailments and it improves your health a lot. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, yoga first time nak actually ma bau garu varla de telsindi. Uh, breathing yoga especially like you know the Ramdev yoga uh, you know uh, I used to practice. I wish I can do more but like you know when I do it I really feel that like you know how uh, useful for the health, like you know, for the health and like you know, body and mind, um, the, even spirituality also. So I, I really wish I can uh, continue uh, the practice of yoga. And congratulations to Rama for opening this beautiful facility. I hope everyone can get the uh, like you know benefit out of uh, this this uh, facility. Thank you. Hello. Um, uh so, so Ramagaru, you see, yoga start just like that. Then, like, how do you feel about it? Hello, Andi. Um, I just want to tell everybody that uh, I'm very, very happy to um, see that Rama has um, opened up this uh, yoga center for so to help so many people and benefit so many people for uh, health. And also, I would like to tell you that I was one of the persons before that uh, when they anybody said exercise or yoga, I didn't. Uh, it took me two years to just watch on TV and then afterwards just sipping coffee, sitting there, watching, watching. It took me two years to really get into it. But once I got into it, now it's been 12 years and I'm doing it on all on my own. And it's a very, very good exercise for everybody, for the body, mind and soul. So please get into it. I know it's hard, but make it and you will, um, I would wish everybody to be very healthy. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it looks like a lot of people are benefited, a lot of people are excited and happy to see that no, like yoga is part of their culture in their neighborhood. So thanks a lot, Gopi Krishna. Rama Chala Rosunji, yoga class lavi is and she's volunteering and giving the classes. She's keeping up her 
ఎవ్రీ డే ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ దట్ సూర్య నమస్కారాలు అని అవని ఇవని అన్ని అరేంజ్ చేసేసి షీఈస్ మోటివేటింగ్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ షో ది హుచ్ ఈస్ గుడ్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ అండ్ షీస్ టీచింగ్ గుడ్ అండి అండ్ ఐ హోప్ ఆల్ ది బెస్ట్ ఫర్ రమా ఫర్ దిస్ న్యూ యోగా సెంటర్ హియర్ ఇన్ పార్సిపని గుడ్ లక్ గుడ్ లక్ జగదానంద జయ జానకీ ప్రాణనా 